Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Brinks commercial padlock. We are at the Black Sands Beach, and if you can see, we have a little sea turtle with us. We got a chill dude, he's over there yawning this morning. Let's see if we can get this open real quick, show you around. I know I'm like kind of directly in the sun, I'm not sure <laughs> how well you can see the lock or not. And two, Got yeah, one, it feels like it's set. I felt like that was a spool pin. You know, four, three, maybe? Yep, three. There we go. Our false set on three. So I think we have double check one. Oh, we have a little false set on one. There we go. Come back on four. Yep, seems like we got it on four there. Eh, maybe not. I'm not getting a whole lot of feedback out of it actually. Thought I was. There we go. This seems like one. Let's make sure it is. Oh, no, that's two. Okay. Make sure we have it actually set to. Maybe it is one of my, my turning tools just resting against it. Dang, yeah, I'm getting some feedback, but it's not. I mean, if I change the angle here, I my whole body's twisted because I'm trying not to be in this uh, sea turtle bed here that's protected. I want a good view though. Yeah, it's weird. I feel a little counter rotation on four too. That might just be, yeah, that might just be me pushing that direction. That's got to be a high pin one. Maybe that's my issue. That's usually my issue. But it's just not wanting to fully go up, so I don't think that's it. There we go. Four in the back. That was it. And there's our open. Whew. I am thankful too because that sun, it's its only 7 a.m. in the morning. And that sun is beating down. I am sweating already. All right, let's show you around. So yeah, we've got a little sea turtle right here. A chill dude. And back over that way, they got a um, sea turtle eggs. And this is the Black Sands Beach. Already went tide pooling, but went through all these little pools here looking for some cool things, but unfortunately didn't find anything. And I did see a lot of crabs and fish. That's about it. But yeah, this is Black Sands Beach in Hawaii, and there is a sea turtle. I'm gonna let him be and finish his nap. Well, yeah, he's chilling. He just ain't wanting to do anything. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm back home, and I did decide to gut this. And as you can see, it is all spools with one standard. Decent bedding. Um, really fun to pick. 
Brinks typically just have a lot of spools in them. And um, so yeah, to take this thing apart, if you're interested in taking these types of things apart, all I did was ground down the little nubs. You can see them sticking out here because I'm starting to push them out. The nubs are the pins on the end, and then I hit them with the hammer or a hinge pin tool, just down a few notches, that way you can take a couple plates off. When you take this plate off, the spring will come flying out, and when you remove this plate, it'll allow you to pull the entire cylinder out of the middle like that. I wanted to show how the actuator worked in this because it's unique. You can see it's just a little wafer, spring-loaded wafer right there. So that disengages from the notch in the shackle. And there's another one just a little bit further down. You can see in the back there that does the other notch here. And so for assembling this back together, that piece will hold that actuator in. But we have those bolts right there, so it's not completely snug. And then this piece, the way the bodies are built on these things is each piece is uh, molded to do uh, a specific function here. And so like this one right here, fits over, if we can get it to fit, there we go, over the shackle right there, the flat spot right there, so that when it goes up, it hits right there. So this is the shackle retaining piece right there. So I got this mostly put back together, and I wanted to show the actuators once again, the little wiper in the back right there, and the bottom one, you can see, right there. And so that's how the tail piece right here fits between return and the shackle comes out. So we'll finish putting this together, which is the rest of these. There we go. And then go ahead and stick our there we go cylinder in there. The last pieces that fits right over the body of the cylinder there and our cylinder retaining spot. But first, before we do that, let's open it. Reason being is we need room for our shackle spring right here from where we're putting on this last piece here or else it can be a pain in the butt to put on. So put that on there. There we go. go there we go and how I won't go through putting them all on this is for time's sake here so there we go our padlock is back together and functional so there you are that is a Brinks commercial padlock laminated padlock uh, picked and gutted all right everyone thanks for watching